I don't think they're even trying at this point. Welcome back to Crush Parking Lot Candy's mini series on she watches all of the Saw movies and gives you her reviews. Reminder, I've never seen these movies before, so you're getting these reviews minutes after I watch the film. Sorry, I made country fried steak for dinner. Anyways, if you've never seen this one, but you saw the other ones, I don't know what we're doing anymore. We have yet another assistant of Jigsaw who's carrying his shit out post-mortem. All you need to know is that John slash Jigsaw wanted his games to continue after his death, so he had a second assistant that nobody knew about, and they're running the games. Let's get into this. I don't know what town or what city this is all supposed to take place in, but they have the worst police department in the history of police departments. Every cop and detective that have been on this case so far has either had a dirty background or got their badge on that episode of Family Guy when the guys decided they were going to join the police academy. I mean, the good news is they went back to hiring WB primetime actors for guest roles. Last time we had Lucy Camden, but this time we had Stars Hollow's diner owner, Mr. Luke Danes, as a cop. And the only thing he knows about detective work is when you want to play the bad cop, you have to throw things. By no means do I condone anything that's going on here. I'm just saying, if that's what they have to work with, I understand why he thought this was the only way to solve crime. Like, is this what Gotham sees every day? Because apparently the only person that can really save Gotham is Batman. Fuck it, if we're adding everything else in the DC universe, let's add this too. But if it's Ben Affleck's Batman trying to solve these puzzles, you're screwed. Moving on. So here's the thing, this whole trap, her hair gets caught and it's kind of pulling her back. Um, I'm going to save you all the details on exactly what happens. I thought it was wrong, but according to Mr. Crush Parking Lot Candy, it's actually right. But it's set up in Riggs's house, right? And whoever was in there removed all the kitchen knives. Do you mean to tell me the only like knives slash scissors in his house were in the kitchen? Your mans didn't have an extra pair of like cosmetic scissors in the bathroom maybe a a set wherever they keep the wrapping paper for birthdays and christmas no swiss army utility to keep in the bedside in case of emergencies and i don't think you can blame the whole panicking thing because isn't he trained to be calm cool and collected wasn't there a desk in this room could he have checked the desk there was probably like a pair of cutting scissors or a knife opener or knife opener a letter opener we tried shooting the gears. Did we try putting something in the gears? According to Mr. Crush Parking Lot Candy, he could have just put the gun in it and it would have stopped it. But you get what I'm saying. And how is it powered? Does it have batteries? Is, does it plug into the wall? Is it gas powered? I don't think it's gas powered. Hair isn't that strong. Could we have just taken her ponytail and pulled in the opposite direction? I'm spending way too much time on this one. Also, I think there was a missed opportunity as to making John a doctor as opposed to an engineer or even like a biomedical engineer because he is not fit to give medical advice here. He said in his little tapey thing, you can either stand there and bleed out or you can take the, uh, the poles out. And any medical professional will tell you, anybody related to a medical professional will tell you, if you are impaled with something, do not take it out. You know why? Because you will bleed out. So odds are she was probably safer like this. I mean, somebody already knew she was there. And plus he pulled the fire alarm. So like you could have waited a little while would have been fine. He didn't give you a consequence. All he gave was like, oh, you'll bleed out if you don't. Ma'am, you one way or another. This movie's getting extra points knocked off because the final credit song wasn't good this time. Four out of ten. 